Have you ever wanted to make your own 3D model in a super simple, easy way? Well, look no further. I'm Ashley and this is Chip Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy 3D model in a Tinkercad program, which is a free online software that allows you to build 3D objects with different shapes, SVG files, and just a bunch of different ways that you can do it. So let's jump in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to tinkercad.com. You will have to make a free account. And then when we're ready to start our new design, we'll just come over here and click create new design. And automatically uh, Tinkercad will name the project something super crazy. So for me, a rule of thumb is I always will change the name and um, save my document. So we'll just name this one the example for now. And then here we have our workspace and we can control it. Uh, the view of it with this little cube over here. We can hit the home to get back to the original view. You can zoom in, zoom out, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so this is a super simple program that you can use. As you can see over here on the side, on the right, we have a bunch of basic shapes that you can use and drag and import. And so you just click it, and then now we have this little cube and we can click again and place it on here. And we can move this cube around. We can do kind of whatever we want. You can you know, use these different arrows here to change things, or you can change multiple points at once. And it's just, it's super simple. So that's, that's really the main reason why I like this program for beginners so much. So let's just jump into it and make a project. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna investigate some of these shapes some more, and I'm gonna come over here, and uh, you can see too, there's like design starters, which is really cool. Uh, and like you can, there's so many, you can click these more shapes and just look and keep seeing like there's all these letters, which are really awesome. They really give you a bunch to work with straight out of the gate, which is super awesome. So I'm gonna come over here to creatures and characters. So I'm gonna click on this mustache and bring it and drag it over here. And we can zoom in a little bit. And so as we've clicked on this mustache file, we can see over here that it says solid and you can change the color to this, but it doesn't really matter for what we're doing. Um, or you can also change it to a hole and that will come into effect later when we're building shapes out. So I'm just gonna leave it this, but I wanna make sure that this is gonna be the correct size that I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna adjust a couple of these measurements. I wanna adjust the thickness of this mustache because I'm gonna turn this into a straw topper. And as you can see, we can uh, change a bunch of different things about this. And it's saying right now that it's seven millimeters thick. I wanna change that to 12 millimeters thick. I want to have a nice uh, size for our straw topper here. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to make it about two inches wide. And so I need to find the correct handle for that one. And I believe it's going to be here. So I want this to be 50 millimeters. And so I made that 50 millimeters, which is roughly two inches wide. And then I'm just going to bring this up a little bit to bring back the shape that it was supposed to be. So now that we have our mustache in the correct size that we want, now we need to make a hole into the middle of it for a straw to go through since we are making this a straw topper. And we're just gonna take two shapes and weld them together, but it's gonna cut the two pieces apart. So I'm gonna come back over here to the right and I'm gonna go to basic shapes. And I am going to choose this cylinder. And then I'm gonna just drop it right here. And I need to change the size of it. First of all, I'm gonna give it a bajillion sides. That way it's as close to a perfect circle as possible. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make these 8.5 millimeters because that is typically the size that I use when I am making straw toppers. And then I'm just gonna come down to a top view of this. I'm gonna take this piece and then I'm gonna hold shift and click the other piece and then I can come up here to align and I'm going to align center and center. So because we chose the grayed out cylinder, that means it's gonna be a whole cylinder, um, which is gonna cut away from the piece that we want. And since we've aligned these two now, what we can do is group these two pieces together and it will cut the pieces for us. So let's just select these two pieces here. As you can see, one piece is a solid and the other piece is a whole. And I'm gonna click group. And now, as you can see, we have super simply made a straw topper. 
So I'm pretty sure that only took us about five minutes to make this model and it's super easy. Now it did help, we did take this model from one of the ones that they already provide us with, but that is seriously how easy it is to jump into 3D models. So now let's try making a little bit more of a challenging model and we can come back into the workspace. So I'm just gonna set my little mustache off to the corner here. So another great thing about Tinkercad is it's super easy to modify existing STL 3D models that are out there on the internet. Uh, there's tons of free sites where you can go download models that people have already made that you can print for free and it's super awesome. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna download a free model that I offer to people, which is a blank Mickey ear template. I love Disneyland, I go there all the time and I 3D print my own custom ears. And I'm gonna show you how you can download this blank file and turn it into something super personal. I'll put the link to this 3D model in the description down below, so make sure you download it. So here we are on my Thingiverse page and I'm gonna come down here to Thing Files and I'm gonna download this ear template STL. Next, I'm gonna come back into Tinkercad and I'm gonna come up here to the right where it says import 3D files. So now I'm gonna choose a file and I'm gonna choose that ear template and I'll click okay. And the unit of measurements that I created that with was millimeters and I will click import and it should import at the correct size. So here we go, here is our blank Mickey ear template. Now you could just print this out as is in some cool different looking filaments and you could be good to go, but that's not what we wanna do today. So we are gonna add some text to these ears to make them custom. So I'm gonna come down here to a top view so that we can just see a little bit better. So I wanna put some text across here and, and I don't want it to be like floating kinda, you know, freehand. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to our basic shapes and drag, grab a box. And then I am going to make a little box that will connect these. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And then let's look at this from a side view. And because I want it to be the same height, or I want it to be a little bit lower than our Mickey ear. So I'll click OK for that. And then that looks pretty good to me. So now that we have these two shapes, we can, we can grab them both and we can align these again. I do want to align the centers here. And then now we can have them both selected again. I'm gonna hit group. And now this is one shape. And as you can see, our little box that our text is gonna rest on is inset slightly. So let's go back to the top. And so now what I wanna do is come over here and grab our text tool and I want it to say, oh boy. And then we'll give it a little exclamation point. And then we can drag this over here. And then let's see what other things we got working. Let's do serif, okay? We can shrink this down a little bit just so we get everything on here. Uh, make sure you're grabbing the correct model. And let's bring this down just a little bit more. And then if you hold shift, it will constrain those as well. And then so now let's just align everything centered again. All right, and then now let's look at this and see. So right now our text is inset and that's not what we want. So we want it to be up a little bit. So this you kind of just have to play around with and see what looks good to you. And so what we can do too is we can look from the side here and we can uh, extrude the text more if we need to. I don't want it to quite be up to the top, but pretty close. And then honestly, that's looking pretty decent to me. So now we've just edited an existing STL file that was out there for free and we added some simple text to it. I know this is a super simple model, but that is what I'm trying to teach you to do. And obviously the sky is the limit for designing in Tinkercad and you could probably make some really freaking cool uh, custom Mickey ears. So I just wanted to show you kind of the basics on how to get started. And honestly, I hope that this has helped to kind of get you to jump in and get your feet a little wet in the 3D modeling world. It definitely gets easier the more you do it and the more you practice. Tinkercad is a great starting program. I personally just jumped straight in with Fusion 360 and it was honestly super hard. It was a very complex program and I was really fighting a battle of really trying to learn. It was a lot of trial and error. Uh, in hindsight, I really wish I had started with Tinkercad and then moved up to Fusion 360 uh, because you can actually do quite a bit 
in Tinkercad. It's pretty cool. They are made by the same company, Autodesk uh, makes Tinkercad and Fusion 360. So it is a really good way to kind of level up your skills starting with Tinkercad. But as always guys, thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, please post them down below. I would, I would do my best to try to answer them. But so that completes this episode of 3D Printing 101. So thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.